It's exciting, isn't it? I mean, I'm talking about the Curiosity rover that's going to be dropped onto the surface of Mars, we hope, sometimes within, sometime within the next day or so. As I, as I video this, it's about 5 o'clock on Sunday evening here in New Zealand, and the rover is about to land in 12 hours' time. I can't wait. I'll be on the edge of my seat watching the JPL feed, uh, the live streaming feed, hopefully from the Jet Propulsion Labs at NASA. But I figured, mm, this is a pretty risky job. It's very difficult what they're doing. You've probably seen the video that NASA have put up. Seven minutes of terror. And just look at all the things that can go wrong and how hard it is to actually achieve the end result. So I figured, well, I wonder what we could do with a bit of a lower budget. And I thought, OK, I'm going to send a mission to Mars. Let's see if we can land our own rover on the surface of Mars using the same techniques that NASA have got planned for Curiosity. See what I come up with. See what you think. Comments on the video below. Thanks. It takes a long time to get to Mars from Earth, so because we've only got a few hours to do this, I thought I'd speed things up by perhaps not using the real Mars, but these Mars. These are a whole lot cheaper to get to. And besides, when I finish making the video, I can eat the set. And here is the rover that will be dropping onto Mars. Look at this, this is state-of-the-art high technology Martian rover. And it has the sky crane thing, see that? Woo, yes, it's, it's hooked to the, the descent vehicle by a cable. And just what is the descent vehicle we're going to use for this simulation? Ta-da, of course, the Walkera Ladybird. That's going to be our descent vehicle. It will gently lower the rover onto the surface of Mars below. Let's see how it goes. Too hard. NASA will never do it. No, can't be done. NASA, you got a real problem on your hands there. Oops. <laughs> 